In this lecture, we are going to be talking about using flashcards and solution-based systems to help improve your memory. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with flashcards. For those of you who don't know what flashcards are, if you are basically trying to remember different bits of information, you would write the keywords, summary, or the entire section you're trying to memorize on different flashcards, small pieces of paper where you can write down the information. If you don't like to do it manually, you can of course use an app like Quizless, for example, that can help you with the process of flashcards in a sense where you can write all the information down or even copy and paste it if you have it on your computer and then the app would be used as flashcards and you can also have access to it online which is very convenient as you can access it both on your phone maybe before an exam or before a presentation and you can also see them on your computer when you're trying to study. One of the main things that flashcards help with is that they ensure repetition of the information and as we said repetition consolidates our memory and can help us in the recalling process. So whether it's a poem you're trying to memorize or some information for a class you have, the script of a presentation you have, or even some formulas you're trying to memorize, using flashcards can help you a lot. And something else that can also help you is the solution-based memory improvement system. And what it basically is You'll create a problem out of the information you're trying to memorize and you would also find a solution to this problem by using the specific information. That's exactly why when you're studying, usually in a textbook, at the end of it, you'll have a bunch of problems, exercises and questions to help you reinforce all the information that you learned. So if you're learning about some solutions to help with all the different effects of plastic, garbage, and air pollution on our oceans. Instead of trying to remember every bit of information separately, you will create a solution-based system. So for every single choice you have to prevent this pollution to our oceans, you will reference it in terms of a question, and find out the answer based on the information you learned. So different problems can be how pollution will affect sea animals, how pollution will affect the temperature and global warming, how it will affect the resources of mineral water we have in this world. And once you have all your problems set up, then you put all the solutions and answers and this can help you tremendously in remembering all the information.